New research on how this COVID-19 coronavirus attacks the body is raising a lot of questions about treating its complications. Medical reporter Liz Bonus reports some say the secret may be in our body's own red blood cells. One of the most severe complications of the COVID-19 coronavirus is called acute respiratory distress syndrome. It generally results when fluid accumulates in the lungs and oxygen can't cross it, so patients can't breathe. Ventilators generally then are thought to be the best treatment to better assist with breathing. But what we're starting to realize is maybe that's not true. There's been some data coming out about how ventilators may be causing more harm than good in some of these COVID-19 patients. Um, so one of the things that's been proposed is actually this idea that hemoglobin is attacked by COVID-19. Hemoglobin is a red blood cell responsible for grabbing onto oxygen and helping to carry it around the body. A recent study by Chinese researchers revealed that the COVID-19 coronavirus attacks hemoglobin in the red blood cells and renders them incapable of transporting that oxygen. So instead of treating with ventilators, Dr. Zach Jenkins of Cedarville University told me by FaceTime. Really the thought is maybe we need to ventilate less in the patients that, that maybe present looking a little bit more like it's, it's an oxygen um, delivery system issue as opposed to an oxygen um, absorption issue is a good way to think about that. So for those patients, typically we would actually just give them high flow oxygen. We wouldn't put them on the ventilator. Um, and, and there's a lot of other thoughts that kind of go into that as well. But that, that would be like the strategy for getting the oxygen demands to increase. Dr. Jenkins admits this is just one theory right now for COVID-19 complications. There's some other discussion that maybe there's some uh, small blood clots that can also be occurring that may decrease blood flow. Uh, that's another big concern we have. And we know that this virus also can damage the lung itself. So... What should we take away from this? If we have a loved one being treated for this, are there some questions we should ask or some things we should consider? I think it underscores the fact that um, this is evolving so quickly before our eyes. We are getting more and more data every single day. And unfortunately, we are really drowning in information and starving for wisdom right now. Starving for wisdom and praying it will come from new information. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus reporting.